For those who are wondering why I haven't posted in a while, uh, unfortunately I've had to switch laptops and uh, the webcam on that laptop has uh, been very insufficient and the uh, the editing software uh, is non-existent on the laptop so uh, my, my old laptop I would have to do a transfer of the uh, video editing software on one computer to another and then load it up from the computer or from the phone so I'm making this from the phone um, just as a example of uh, what's uh, the quality is gonna look like I, I don't think it's uh, gonna be very great in comparison to my actual uh, camcorder so uh, there have been a lot of life changes as far as um, the channel and personal reasons and I've uh, been growing a lot a lot in the faith lately and been trying to stay, stay clear uh, of a lot of drama uh, last year 2020 particularly was uh, really dramatic, and I think most people know that. Um, and it looks like uh, things are going to be going more old school uh, in the future for my channel. So I don't know how much more regularly I will be posting, but there is a lot of... Uh, things that's happening in the Catholic world, so much to cover between the shutdowns last year and communion in the hand and um, going to mass with wearing a mask and uh, the constant germ X and the social distancing and who's allowed for confirmations, who's allowed for weddings, who's allowed for funerals, who's allowed for ordinations, who's allowed for first communions, uh, who is allowed for um, baptisms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It just it is really a, been such an immersive topic that uh, each topic I could spend hours and hours and hours on uh, just discussing the logic of what is going on behind the scenes and and everything like that and obviously you could talk about the the casualty of the Sunday obligation of the mass attendance which is um, a sad thing I think lots of people who have been habitualized into going to church for 40 or 50 years unfortunately as a result of the shutdowns last year, lost that habit just within six months, three months, nine months, and borderline even close to a year now. I mean, just like that, a 40, 50 year old habit has been wiped out. And that is a true, true casualty of 2020 for, for certain. And uh, the political sphere of uh, what's been going on in 2020, that's just a nightmare in and of itself and how COVID has been uh, very uh, uh, biased in its coverage and the, the uh, agenda behind the... the uh, overall plot behind COVID and uh, smearing it and jacking it up and exaggerating uh, deaths and claims and things ha have been uh, just through the roof and it was tr to try obviously to grab more power. Um, I forget who said it but uh, one of the people from the 18th century said 
maybe even in the early uh, 20th century, said, uh, never let a crisis go to waste. And it looks like that's what happened last year. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of internal mechanisms that are rotating right now that uh, you can't tell between the puppet hand and the master hand. Uh, between uh, sovereign nations buying land within, uh, within another sovereign country's borders uh, all, all over the place uh, in various states that they should raise concerns and not to mention uh, China's um, renewal of the Vatican deal of how to handle uh, bishops and things. Uh, that that got renewed last year. Uh, so much has been uh, spoken about last year that I can't put it in a single video. And this video is already six minutes uh, almost. Um, but yeah, uh, what else? There is all kinds of news that happened over the last, last uh, full year that it, it, it's been, it's been a, a head scratcher of where to start. Because there's too many subjects, and I, I, I'm in a different world now than I was two years ago. Uh, well, really, even three. Uh, I, I've become more of a traditionalist uh, in my thinking uh, in terms of the faith. So um, while I'm still friendly to Novus Ordo. I'm not in the world as much as no sort of as I am with the traditional movement, and uh, that's uh, kind of narrowed a lot of options and things. So uh, there's just a lot of topics to cover, and I don't think uh, that it's a adequate um, to put it all in one video um, so I mean I, I can list the topics but I can't really go into depth like I said I'm already eight minutes in into this video so and I'm just testing this um, and since, since I haven't uh, had a Photoshop uh, I haven't been able to re rename the channel banners and uh, the the channel name officially, even though it's no longer uh, Catholic Clarity for Charity, but it's now uh, the Lator Est Christus, which is uh, they are the words of Christ, and if I had more resources and more time um, that I could dedicate to this. Uh, I, I, I would. Um, my wife and I just had a baby uh, October of last year, so right before uh, the elections and right before Thanksgiving and Christmas and things got crazy and, you know, just trying to adapt from that and uh, just overall just trying to live life and trying to be a good husband, a good father um, and, you know, be a good servant of God first and try not to be in the limelight as much uh, after all pride is one of the worst uh, deadly sins and I think all of us could be using an increase in the virtue of humility so anyway uh, I'm going to cut this video off at 10 minutes uh, this channel this feature is up, up in the air um Especially depending on internet access. So uh, keep, please keep my, my channel in your prayers. Please keep my family in your prayers. And uh, I'll keep you in your prayers as well. So God bless. Pax Christi. And Viva Jesus.